Hey, I'm Skip, and this is how to play Barrel Rummy, a card combo building game by John Burton. If it's your first time visiting the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and the bell so you're notified about new games every week. This is a game for two players. To play, you will need a standard 52 card deck and two unique tokens. You can use chips, dice, game pieces, anything that's convenient. Ultimately, players are trying to get as many cards into their discard pile as possible. To do this, players will try to build special combinations that earn them extra cards. The better the combination, the more extra cards you're going to be able to add to your discard pile. At the end of the round, cards in the discard pile will count as points. So the more, the better. To set up for the game, shuffle the deck and deal four cards to each player. The rest of the deck is placed face down to form the stockpile. Deal three cards to the left of the stockpile and three cards to the right of it. This layout makes up the barrel. Each player chooses a token to use during the game and places it at their starting space near the center of the barrel. During the game, players will move their tokens around the barrel to collect cards and create combinations. There are five different kinds of combinations you can make, and each combo allows the player to add a specific number of extra cards to their collection pile. Now let's see how it all works together. On their turn, the player chooses a card from their hand and adds it to their discard pile. The rank of the card determines how many spaces they move their token. A player may move their token in either direction. Player 1 moves their token 6 spaces and lands on the Ace of Clubs. After moving, pick up the card you land on and add it to your hand. The next step is to score a combination if possible. Player 1 does not yet have a 4 card combination, so they move on to the next step. Replace the card that was picked up with the top card of the stockpile. Replacing the barrel card ends the player's turn. Player 2 plays the 10 of diamonds to their discard pile and picks up the 4 of diamonds. They do not have a 4 card combination, so they end their turn by replacing the barrel card. There are a couple other things you need to know about movement. First, playing an ace allows you to move your token one space. Second, if a player lands on the same space as an opponent, they cover their opponent's token and take a second turn after resolving the current one. And third, playing any royal card, a jack, queen, or king, allows the player to move their token anywhere on the barrel that isn't already occupied. That means you cannot use a royal card to move and cover an opponent's token. But wait, what if a player lands on one of the stockpile spaces? If this occurs, the player simply takes the top card of the stockpile and adds it to their hand. There will be no card to replace. Now let's move ahead and see how to score combinations. Player 1 takes their turn and plays the Ace of Clubs to their discard pile. They can move their token one space in either direction. So, they move their token to the Five of Hearts and pick it up. They now have a combination to score. The three of a kind plus royal. This will earn player one three extra cards for their discard pile. They show their combination to their opponent and discard all of the cards to their discard pile. And then they add three more cards from the stockpile. Remember, each card is worth a point, so you want to collect as many as possible during the round. After scoring a combination, you draw four cards to replenish your hand. Then you replace the barrel card to end your turn. Now that you know how to move around the barrel and create scoring combinations, let's move on to ending the round and winning the game. At some point, the stockpile will run out of cards. This immediately ends the round. Each player counts up the cards in their discard pile. That number is their score for the round. Here, player 1 has earned 25 points, and player 2 has earned 16 points. After the score has been tallied, collect all of the cards and deal out a new round. Whoever has the fewest points begins the next round. Play three rounds, and the player with the highest score at the end of the third round is the winner. If there's a tie, the tie is going to be broken with sudden death. So collect all the cards, shuffle up and deal out the sudden death round. Pretty much everything is the same, except the player who went second in the first round gets to go first for sudden death. And finally, the first player to score a combination 
wins sudden death. They win the game. And that's how to play Barrel Rummy. I think this is a pretty cool little game. It's quick, easy to teach. It's got just the right amount of strategy and tactical decision making mixed with a little bit of take that when you can cover up your opponent's token and earn an extra turn. If you need a printable document for this, go ahead and go into the description. I put a link down there and I'll lead you to John's rule doc. And if you like the game, be sure to go over and let him know at his YouTube channel. He's got this game and a few others that he created videos for if you'd like to check them out. That's all for now. Until next time, keep on playing.